All right, so I want to thank Hassan Elias for uh, jumping on this go-to meeting. And uh, the last couple months, he's had a, a big change. Went from Southern California, warm temperatures, to Central Missouri, uh, pursuing, pursuing his uh, track field and decathlon, uh, trying to set records and do amazing things and get a, a great college education in the meantime. Not only that, during his time over there, um, during those big changes, he's really transformed from a true uh, leader from a business building standpoint. So, Asan, I just wanted to just kind of pick your brain a little bit about, yeah, that sounds good. about uh, just you developing as a leader over the last couple of months. I know that we've, you know, mm -hmm. been, it's been a continual process. But what would you say would be, let's just keep it simple, the three critical points that right. you feel must, you know, that did happen that, that were critical must-dos for you to make that transition? Perfect, perfect. That's a great question. So um, first three, um, this is kind of what I live by, and I think this is what um, everyone should preach, teach, and study. Um, number one, the biggest things for me is spiritual development. Even if you don't have a faith or you do have a faith, I, I highly suggest there's, uh, there's over more than 50% of the world that studies a faith. So even if you have knowledge, if you don't have knowledge, study something. There's a lot of wisdom in those books. Um, there's different parts of the ledger that you can read about yourself. You can learn from um, stories of people who haven't made it, of people who have made it. Hmm. And uh, just starting your day with that, um, it gives you, um, it gives you a, a great way to structure your day. And for me, that's a big thing in knowing more about my religion, knowing more about my faith, and whatever faith yours is. And if you're not spiritual, just knowing about faith or learning about the history of it, um, it's a great way to start. Because a lot of people, that's how they actually structure their own decisions. Awesome. Um, so that, that would be my number one. Number two is personal development. I'm a huge reader. Leaders are readers, and readers are leaders. All right? I wish it could be the other way, readers are leaders, but it's not. It's leaders are readers. Got it. Read more and you can become more. Um, I read almost every, every, every second, every chance I get. And the reason okay. I do that is, I mean, your repertoire of knowledge is, is ridiculous. It's, it's ridiculous. The words you learn, uh, if you learn how to use words correctly, um, you can drastically change someone's life just by saying the right thing to them, saying it the right way. You can say, hey, what's wrong with you? Or you can say, hey, what's troubling you? You know, mm -hmm. it, it evokes two different emotions. Um, so just by reading, you can learn so much about the language, whatever language you speak, uh, you can learn so much about it, and you can, uh, you can learn how to use words correctly. Nice. Um, that, is, that, that is huge for me. And the more I read, the more I learn, the more I can apply, the more I can help other people. And number three, my last one is just relationship building. Um, it's almost like building rapport with someone. Sure. Uh, for me, I've, I've actually structured my own questions to ask people, because uh, does, if you know, do you, uh, a lot of people don't know what the number one word is for other people. The number one word, the number one word that people love is their own name, mm -hmm. you know. And I realize the more I use someone else's name in conversation, the more they pay attention, the more they don't lose focus. So, um, and I guess where I learned that, I learned that from reading. So, uh, the more you use someone's name is in, in any time you're speaking with someone is a great way to build a relationship with them. Okay, they love it. You, you say their name. Victoria, oh, they love it. Brent, they love it. Mm -hmm. Josh, they just, oh, they love it. Right. Um, so that's what I do in relationship building. I always make sure that um, that I'm not interesting. If I'm interesting, that's not fun. I have to be interested in them. A lot of people don't show interest in other people, sure. and that's where you lose someone. Um, people are so focused and caught up with them. The best way is to be humble about yourself and let them speak. People want to be heard. I mean, there's so much the dogma in this world that... Uh, Everyone feels like there's a shadow, and if you can be that light for someone um, to be filled, it's awesome. It is awesome. So Very that, good. those are kind of my top. Those are my top three. Very good. So spiritual development, whatever that means to that individual, perfect. Mm -hmm. um, the second one there, personal development. Obviously, leaders are readers. That's huge. Right. Um, and I like the point that you know you said communication skills mm -hmm. crucial. Um, mm -hmm. And finally, developing rapport. So let's rewind the tape. So tell yourself a year ago, if you could go back to the future, you know, Marty McFly, go talk to 
saw him when I first met you in Long Beach, leaning back in the chair. What, you know, what's just real quick, a couple of things that you would just say, hey, buddy, what would you tell yourself? You know, uh, back then I, I, uh, I didn't see the depth of a decision. You know, one decision you make right now can ring for eternity. It can ring five years from now, ten years from now. So I didn't have this like a, I didn't have this knowledge of future like present decisions affect all of your future. And it was really hard for me to see that. And now I realize that a decision I make now can affect my life, oh, sure. dramatically, dramatically. Um, one thing I would say is that um, I kind of lived in the moment a lot. Yeah. And when you realize, uh, when you start planning your life out and start creating a future for yourself, a lot of people, they, uh, they plan out the best vacations, right, mm -hmm. to get away, you know. And I realize I, I, w I don't want to get away from my life. I, I don't want to get away from my life. I want a vacation every single day. So if you plan and create your life, if you create a blueprint for your life, cool. um, it's, it, it's a great way to live every day the way you want, the way Perfect. you want to live. Yeah. I, and if you're I loving life, you don't need a vacation from it. Yeah, totally agree with that. So. Mm -hmm. Think, uh, think long term, mm -hmm. not short term. Create the, the life you want. Too good. So, we'll kind of wrap up here with what are some of the details, like the mm -hmm. real things that you know people that are going to watch this that they could actually turn and implement um, right. into their daily activities or weekly right. so activities. I, I structure my day very differently than the than the average human. I would say. Uh, one thing is, this is my philosophy I live by, you have to wake up before the sun does. Mm -hmm. You have to be up before the sun does. And the reason I do that is um, before I go to sleep the day before, I actually plan my day out. I, I have everything that I want down. You know, here's, here's a list right here, right? And I call it, it's, it's my victory list. And um, mm -hmm. I have check boxes every time. Every time I do one of my goals, it's a victory for me. And it's a great way to build self-confidence. I, I, I have nice. the small battles. So every time I have a bigger battle, I can conquer because I've, I've seen little ones I've won. Yeah. So the day before, I, I plan out my whole day, right? And you know what it does for your subconscious? It actually plays out that whole day while you sleep, mm. right? So prepare the day before. And while you're sleeping, you're going to want to wake up. A lot of people try getting through the day. You want to get from the day. And um, the way I, I start to do that is to plan it the day before. And I get, I want to get up. You know, people have this battle. You know, it's, it's mind over mattress. Like, it's so comfy. I don't know if I can do it. It's warm. When you realize, dude, you have dreams, you have goals, you have aspirations you're chasing, oh, man, you want to get up. And, I, and, you know, I get up, I hit the deck, 10 push-ups. Uh, one thing I learned from my friend Jordan Kemper is don't start your day on your feet. Start your day on your knees. Perfect. You know? And uh, that's a great that's a great way to start. Ask. Ask. Ask intelligently. Um, ask for whatever you want and forgive. You know? Too um, good. Uh, from there, uh, th that's one of the number one things I do. Uh, number two, one thing I think a lot of what a lot of people experience and what I had a lot of trouble with was before was I had a lot of problems, a lot of problems. And the reason I had problems is because I thought there were problems. You know, uh, one thing I changed was instead of it being a problem, I changed problem to being a challenge. Mm -hmm. The reason I say challenge is anytime I have a challenge, I try to overcome the challenge. Okay, and just changing that word. Uh, it, it does something to your mind. It's a game. You want to overcome, right? It's almost like a hurdle. You want to get mm -hmm. over it, right? So just by che but just by having more challenges, it, it was it was oh man, it was fun. It's almost like a competition between mm -hmm. myself. And um, the more challenges you have, that's the, the more you grow. And the way I realized how to get over these challenges was to become more valuable. Every time I, I felt like I was stagnant, I felt like I needed something. Mm -hmm. I never got I never got anything. Anytime you feel like you need something to happen. Um, it's not going to happen. Right. The only way you get the only way you get something to happen is if you deserve it. And how do you become more deserving? Become more. Become more valuable. How do you do that? Learn more. Acquire more knowledge. Acquire more skills, and then apply it. Help others. The more I give, the more I get. If you're not giving, you're not going to get anything in return. Okay. Yep. Um, and those are some little things. You know, start if you see if you're walking and you see someone, give them a smile. Hmm. You'll get a return. It'll come full circle. Nice. It's powerful. Just a smile. Just a crease of the lip. Ooh. Ooh. It can make someone's day. And now you, just by giving that, if you're, if you're out there every day and you say, gimme, 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 you know, that goes out there to the world. You know what the world says? Gimme, gimme, gimme. 
Mm. So it's going to take more from you. But if you if you switch your perspective and you say, what can I give? What can yeah, I yeah. offer? You know, the world the world says to you, what can I give you? What can I offer you? Perfect. See that switch in perspective? Perfect. Oh, it makes all the difference. And th those are some little things you can do. That, those are things that I do. And, um, yeah, it, it, you'll even get to the point where you'll sow so much that you even forget about reaping. Nice. Know? And, and that's where the true, the true value lies. Law of attraction. Mm -hmm. Love it. Well, thank you so much for your time. Hopefully the people that watch this, I've obviously learned a ton from you over the last couple of months and will continue to learn from you. And hopefully I can uh, sow back into you, but hopefully people get from this and uh, it just blesses them. Thanks a lot for your time, man. No worries. Thank you so much, Josh. Cheers, Ruth.